Taylor. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Come in. Thank you so much for fitting a 73 question interview into your busy schedule. Oh, it's all good. All right, cool. Let's do this. So what's keeping you busy these days? Uh, I'm just working out and getting ready for Grammys. What's the most exciting thing in life right now? Grammys? What are you completely bored of in life right now? Clickbait. What is something that recently moved you? The movie The Martian. Okay, uh, what do you have going on over here? This is a room where I write a lot of songs. Nice piano. How many guitars do you own? I lost track of that in probably 2007. What's the first song you learned to play on the guitar? Um, Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. What's the first thing you do when you get an idea for a song? I record a voice memo of myself singing it or I write it down in my notes. What's your songwriting process? Um, lots of preparation. I write a lot of my ideas down before I get into the actual session. What song took you the least amount of time to write? Blank Space because I'd written a lot of the lines down already in the year preceding the session. Which one took you the longest? All too well, because I, I, it's a really emotional song. I kept putting it down for months on end. So is this the room where you keep all of your awards? Um, no, they're kind of everywhere. Do you want to see the rest of the house? Yes. Amazing. All right, let's do it. Who is your favorite teacher? Uh, my guitar player, Paul Sedotti, teaches me a lot on the road about piano and guitar. If you could teach one subject in school, what would it be? English. Okay, see your Scrabble player. Yeah, there's a word you might know. Check it out. Uh, yep, something tells me that's planned. Nope, that was spontaneous. I'm a very spontaneous person. What's your favorite beverage? Coffee. Would you like some? Let's see what you got. I have espresso. I have regular coffee. I have different flavors. <laughs> I have a, a VMA here. <laughs> you can't really take that, I don't think. But you definitely can't drink it. No, you could stir with it, though. Actually, I'll have a water. Okay. Thank you very much. What's your favorite cocktail? Uh, vodka Diet Coke. What's your favorite food? I mean, if we're just saying, like, what I wish I could eat every day, if calories didn't count as, like, chicken tenders. What would you order at a drive-thru? Um, cheeseburger, fries, chocolate shake. What was the best birthday cake you've ever had? It was from Milk Bar. It was for my 25th birthday, and it was so good that even Jay-Z raved about it. Oh, thank you very much. What was the last thing you baked? Um, a gluten-free, dairy-free chocolate cake. What one thing do you need to have in your fridge at any given time? Hummus, weirdly. What's one thing you still have from your childhood? My insecurities. <laughs> Do you want to go outside and check out the other situation? Let's check out the other situation. What's your favorite TV show of all time? Friends. Favorite TV show that's currently on the air? Dateline. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? Love Actually. What was a movie that made you cry your eyes out? Oh my god, The Martian. Why do you think you're the most followed person on Instagram? Because my cats are adorable. So, have you ever Googled yourself? Yeah. Taylor, what do you think when you Google yourself? I think you should never Google yourself again. <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would it be? Healing people. If you were not a singer, what would you be doing? Might be in advertising. Maybe like coming up with slogans and concepts is the same as, as hooks and songs. Well, this is very lovely out here. Thank you. Uh, can you show me a really cool or bizarre talent? Okay, I'm well aware that this is not a talent, but this is like the only thing that I can do. I have um, double jointed elbows, so. No. Oh man. Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> they're a little bit weird. Yeah. What, what's something you can't do? I can't do a cartwheel or a handstand. What's the best compliment you've ever received? That I'm generous. What is the best gift you've ever received? My boyfriend planted a, um, an olive tree in my yard for Christmas. What's one habit you wish you could break? Well, when I'm sitting there, usually I, j I just do this with my leg, like, and people think that I'm nervous, and then they get nervous, and then everybody's nervous. <laughs> do you have any <laughs> nicknames? Yeah, my brother calls me Teffy. What surprises you most about people? I'm pleasantly surprised by the fact that I tell my friends absolutely everything and it never ends up getting out. What makes you laugh no matter what? Kevin Hart. What does creativity mean to you? Um, creativity is getting inspiration and having that lightning bolt idea moment and then having the hard work ethic to sit down at the desk and write it down. So I found out Nicole Kidman swam with sharks. What's the most adventurous thing you've done? Like watching Shark Week. <laughs> What's your favorite lyrics of all time? Um, I had some dreams. They were clouds in my coffee. 
from You're So Vain by Carly Simon. What's one song you wish you had written? The Friends theme song because of those royalties. What's a great fan moment that comes to mind? Um, I'll be driving down the street and I'll see a kid walking down the street with my shirt on for my tour and I'll just stop my car and be like, hey, nice shirt. <laughs> Most memorable career moment so far? Um, I think filming the Bad Blood video was my favorite memory. What's one accomplishment you're most proud of? My Grammys. What's something you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do? Oh, Coachella. What's your spirit animal? A dolphin, because they're very social. They travel in groups. Hey, Taylor. Oh, hey. Hey, my wife and I's anniversary is coming up. Where should I take her? Um, congratulations, and you should take her to Big Sur. You're welcome. It's freezing outside. Yeah, it is. All right, what advice would you give to anyone who wants to become a singer? Um, get a good lawyer. Any pre-show rituals? Yeah, I stretch, I warm up my voice, and then my band and dancers and I get in a huddle, and it's just good vibes. What's the most difficult song to perform on stage and why? There's a song I wrote called The Best Day that is about my mom, and it's just hard to sing because it makes me really emotional. So this is a really great room you have. Thank and you. And you have a lot of cats. Yeah. How many cats are in this room? Um, probably more than 10, and I don't know if you're counting the one that's alive down there. What? There's a cat there. I see the cat. All right, here's one for you. If you were a cat, would you get along with your cats? Probably not. They would probably not think that I'm cool. How many cat breeds can you name in 10 seconds? Um, when do we start? Go. British short hair, Scottish fold, Himalayan, exotic short hair, exotic long hair, uh, sphinx cat, munchkin, uh, Siamese, um, um, the, the... Time's up. <sighs> Amazing. What's the coolest thing in this room? I can do so much better than that. The coolest thing in this room, I think, is the fireplace. Nice. If you could raid one woman's closet, who would it be? Blake Lively. What's your favorite fashion trend of all time? High-waisted stuff. Besides your phone and wallet, what's a couple must-have purse items? I have this lavender antibacterial hand spray that I have, and whenever me and my friends are in a public bathroom, and we have to wait in line at the sink to wash our hands, I'm like, no, like, check it out. And everybody's like, thanks, girl. Can you tell me what you'll be wearing to this year's Met Gala? I'm going to be dressed as a robot, um, and I'm gonna carry a sword. Okay, so my little cousin Julia wants to know, what did you want to do with your life at age five? Um, when I was five, I knew that my dad was a stockbroker, but I did not know what a stockbroker was. Yet I walked around telling people I'm going to be a stockbroker when I grow up. What's the one thing you wish you knew at 19? <sighs> if I could talk to my 19 year old self, I'd just say, hey, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna date just like a normal 20 something should be allowed to, but you're going to be a national lightning rod for slut shaming. What's something you will not be doing in 10 years? Um, something I will not be doing in 10 years. I'll be 36. I really hope that I'm not stressed about the idea of approaching 40. I hope that aging is not something that really freaks me out. What do you think is the most important life lesson for someone to learn? That karma's real. Okay, what can you say in another language? I can count to 10 in German. Do it. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Go Taylor. Thank you. Okay, hate to break it to you, but the interview is coming to an end. Okay, well, I'll walk you to the door. Okay, what did you love most about the town where you grew up in? I grew up in Wyomissing, Pennsylvania, and I liked the fact that it had a lot of historic buildings. What's the bravest thing you've ever done? Writing the Apple Music Letter. Most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Writing the Apple Music Letter. What's one goal you're determined to achieve in your lifetime? I really want an honorary doctorate degree because Ed Sheeran has one, and I feel like he looks down on me now because I don't have one. All right, Taylor, we did it. Now it is time for the final question. I'm gonna take you over here first and let you out. Okay, great. Uh, what is your favorite scented candle? By Rado Treehouse. That is it. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I'm go buy it right now. Bye. Thanks, Taylor. See you later.